Welcome to another episode of BizJet TV. My name is Fabrizio Poli. This channel is all about business aviation. We're here to educate you so that you can find out how a business jet and you know flying machines can help you grow your business. Today we're going to be talking about um, what they're doing in Japan with technology and flying machines. But uh, before we get into that, I just want to talk to you a little bit about science fiction. Now, science fiction is something that certainly influenced me while I was growing up reading Isaac Asimov and Ben Bova novels and watching Star Trek and Stargate and Star Wars. Uh, Six Million Dollar Man, you know, all those shows, and also Japanese cartoons, believe it or not. There's a lot of Japanese science fiction cartoons uh, from Captain Harlock to Goldrake to Gundam, which is the famous one, uh, which uh, certainly uh, fueled my interest in the, 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 the science of flying machines and inspired me to go out there and become a pilot and, and uh, start a business in aviation uh, and aerospace, which is where I am now. So um, lots of other entrepreneurs have been inspired by science fiction. Elon Musk often attributes Isaac Asimov's foundation and novels. And of course, uh, the iPad first appeared in Star Trek. And that's what inspired Steve Jobs to create the iPad. And then, of course, Jeff Bezos with Blue Origins inspired by Star Trek, too. So, you know, uh, in Japan, uh, there are a number of engineers which have been inspired by Gundam and all the other uh, cartoons as they were growing up. Uh, I think you know it's, it's, it's been very clever the way this has happened. So today, lots of Japanese technology out there, uh, very uh, forward thinking. Uh, Japan is a very technological country. Um, I great believer in the Japanese people. They're also becoming very creative. I know of an Italian fashion designer that now for inspiration goes to Japan once a month uh, to walk around the streets and look in the stores for inspiration. Um, so it's interesting. The Japanese used to go to Italy for ideas and now the Italians are going to Japan for the ideas. So Japan is certainly um, on the up there and that's why today in this episode we're covering Japanese technology and flying machines. And so let's get straight into it. But before we start, I encourage you to subscribe to BizJet TV. Give us a thumbs up and please comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And that's all from me on the intro. Let's get straight into the Japanese technology and flying machines. Off we go. So the Japanese are being inspired by science fiction, like I have been inspired and many other entrepreneurs, as I mentioned in the intro. Uh, but this one uh, entrepreneur in particular, uh, inspired by Gundam, sitting around waiting for somebody to build a Gundam and it wasn't happening. So he thought, you know what, I'm going to do it. And so he's built this um, Gundam style uh, robot. Lots of interesting applications for this for the future. Uh, this is just one example of what the Japanese are doing. But let's move into flying machines and business and saving time. And let's look at what SkyDrive are doing. SkyDrive is an interesting company backed by Toyota. Team of 20 engineers working away there. Lots of other partners in the Japanese technology space have, have partnered with SkyDrive to make this a reality. This is an electrical vertical takeoff and landing vehicle, which is very interesting. Uh, they also uh, got backing from the Japanese government as far as sitting at the table and, in, and creating the regulation to make this thing happen. Because obviously, if you want to build something that's going to fly, you also need it to be allowed to fly. So it's important to have the government on your side. And the Japanese government is definitely um, pro this type of technology. And I'm sure there's there's other Gundam fans in the government as well as in, in uh, the Japanese uh, business um, world. So what is SkyDrive doing? They're building this electrical vertical takeoff and landing. They've built the prototype. The prototype has been flying around unmanned and they're about to fly, uh, do the first manned flight in the next few weeks, which is interesting. Uh, the uh, approach that they have had with this is they decided they were going to build something that had a 30 kilometer range. So that's about you know 15 to 20 nautical miles. Uh, so that's interesting because they believe there's, there's, there's a market for this and I think they're right. You know, going from the airport to the city uh, in a straight line. Uh, very often it's only like 10, 15 K. So, um, you know, a, a vehicle like this will work. Also, if it's smaller, it's lighter. It, it, the battery doesn't have to be that big. And of course, being lighter, it's going to be cheaper to operate um, and cheaper for the end user that's paying to, to for the ride from the airport to downtown. So this is what they're doing. Um, very interesting. They've got a very good team of engineers behind them here. 
and we've also got a British engineer which is helping them, Mark Blackwell, uh, just to give the whole project a bit of an international slant as well, because uh, they're not only looking at developing this in Japan, but selling this SkyDrive, which will vertical take off and landing flying machine to um, companies in other countries. So interesting, but alongside this, what SkyDrive are doing, and I think this is a very clever business approach, um, and again, because they've got a good team, you know, they, they, they've come up with a good business strategy as well. They're developing a drone. This is a cargo drone, which can carry up to 30 kilos of cargo. So imagine landing at Tokyo Narita Airport and your suitcase gets locked onto the drone to deliver to the hotel downtown and you jump into the EV toll and off you go. So this is kind of what they're thinking of and also lots of other applications for the drone uh, carrying cargo. Uh, we've seen, you know, with, with lockdown recently, how many more people have gone online to shop. Um, apparently, reading a stat by MasterCard just yesterday, that no, uh, the um, online shopping has increased by 93% compared to last year. Um, and now here in the UK, they've just passed a law where everybody has to wear masks in shops from the 24th of June. Uh, so again, that's just gonna encourage people to stay home and shop online instead of going out. Um, the aggravation of walking around with a mask on. So, um, you know, drone delivery is going to be a big thing and also SkyDrive are on this. This is also a good way for them to get to market. They're going to get to market with a drone first, uh, make some cash flow. That cash flow can finance the electrical vertical takeoff and landing. Now, they're looking at building a um, one to two seater to then uh, morph into a five seater. So this is interesting. So lots of technology uh, coming forward, being put into this. Um, in developing uh, this machine to carry more people than uh, one or two in, in the beginning. So I can see probably a two-seater uh, and then a five-seater. They're also looking at it becoming autonomous, so flying without a pilot. That will take a few years to, to be approved or to be developed, the technology, and then also to be approved. But, you know, they're certainly going places inspired by Gundam and a lot of the Japanese science fiction uh, has produced a new um, type of engineer. So all those science fiction uh, writers out there and uh, TV show creators and filmmakers and whatever just keep doing what you're doing because you're inspiring the young ones to get into science and technology and develop technology that will improve our lives save us lots of time uh, and also not pollute the atmosphere so this is really all from me on this episode of Bidget TV I hope you enjoyed this all about electrical vertical takeoff and land you can check the other videos on this subject uh, lots more to come I uh, would like to hear from you in the comments below and uh, if you haven't subscribed to Bizjet TV, I encourage you to subscribe. And that's all from me on Bizjet TV, and I'll see you on the next one.